Hey everybody, Regan Hagstead here, Mortgage Success Blueprint, and today I wanna to talk about step five in my six step origination success guide, okay? Where we talk about when somebody first inquires until the time they're in contract, what do we do? And step five is follow up, okay? We've done all the other stuff, which is kind of the hard part, but step five is so important because if you lose track, you don't stay in touch, you don't follow up, all of those hours and all that time you spent before is for nothing, right? Follow up is key. And I don't mean putting somebody in a CRM. We actually have another segment on CRMs. I don't mean drip mailing them. I mean, how do you strategically follow up with somebody who has a full mortgage plan and a roadmap that we don't know when they're gonna find the house they love? What do you do, okay? So for me, it's pretty simple. After we have our planning meeting, I do it in three days. Then I do it one week, one week, 10 days, 20 days, one month, one month. Okay, now play it a little by ear because if during these follow-ups you find out they're out looking in houses and they found one that they might offer on, well, of course, adjust your schedule. But we're saying somebody who's looking just cannot find a house they wanna offer on. It's three days after strategy, then one week, then one more week, then 10 days, then 20 days, then one month, then one month. Now, what happens after that? Because it's not uncommon, especially in a tight inventory market, to maybe go longer. When you get done with that last one, and let's kind of rewind. I mean true follow-ups. You picking up the phone, calling, leaving a voicemail, sending an email to them, okay, a personal email, not a drip campaign. Legitimate personalized follow-ups is this. At the end of that last one, I always offer, you know what, it seems like you just haven't found something. Do you wanna come back in or do we wanna reevaluate your price point or the strategy we've been using? Because it doesn't seem like you're finding the house that's gonna fit for you. I'm happy to start reevaluating that to maybe create a little bit different plan that's gonna give you more success in finding the home. And when you do that, clients are either gonna say, you know what, that's right, everything we've been seeing is higher, or people are at, you know, bidding over ask, or that's a great time to reconnect. But if they just say, there's been nothing listed, we wanna live in this specific school district with four beds, there have been no houses listed with four beds in that school district, what do you do? that point, you just keep them on a one month check-in. You can still keep them in your email campaigns, your CR campaigns, but you, you, you've got them to this point, you cannot lose them, right? And I don't care how many times you have to call them over the course of three years, you just kind of put them on that one month follow-up. Yeah, if it gets too long, kind of play it by ear and put them on a 60-day tickler or something like that. But I really think it's so important for people to dedicate time and also have a plan of how they're gonna stay in touch with people when they get to this stage. I really hope you guys enjoyed something. I hope you can take some of this, apply it to what you're doing now, or maybe even improve on what you already have. Other than that, feel free to like, share, comment with everybody, and I look forward to seeing you guys back on our last series of the Six Step Origination Success Guide.